This is an overview of my spark gap Tesla coil. I'll take a quick survey around and then I'll go over the individual pieces. So there's the main coil unit. There's the pole transformer. And here's the control cabinet. Uh, I've done a video on the control cabinet before, so I won't go into as much detail, but basically this provides um, power to the pole transformer, variable power, up to 240 volts, and it also supplies variable phase 60 hertz power to the uh, rotary spark gap. And if you want more detail on this uh, control cabinet, you can go watch my other YouTube video on this. So down here at the bottom, the two power leads come out. And now I'll proceed over. I'll just follow this lead. This is the 240 volt power line <coughs> to the pole transformer. And you can see that here. Um, I haven't hooked the ground up for it yet. That's why it's hanging hanging loose there. But I'll do that in a second. But it's uh, 240 volts in and 14,400 volts out. And here you can see the high voltage leads um, coming from the transformer. And they have braided shield that's grounded just in case uh, we get a strike. And now moving to the Tesla coil itself. Pull it back a little here. It's about six and a half feet tall. Uh, draws six and a half kVA of power. And uh, go in the bottom here. And here's the safety gap right here. Don't know if I've ever seen it fire, but, which is not quite as important on a pole transformer. Here are the capacitors down here. These are six Maxwell pulse discharge capacitors. Total capacitance is 45 nanofarads, rated for 70,000 volts. And uh, continuing around, it's kind of an extensive. Uh, grounding system down there. Now moving over to the rotary spark gap. This is the uh, end of it. And moving around, you can see the rotary spark gap from the side. Things are kind of hidden here, but See, here's the rotor here, and it's uh, there's four flying electrodes, which you can see, tungsten electrodes. That's a half horsepower motor modified to be synchronous. And you kind of see in there a little bit. I don't think you can actually see the, you can barely see the spark gaps, one of them down here. You can see where, where, it, where it lines up and would fire across like that. So moving up, obviously this is the primary coil. And I've got it tapped almost all the way out. And the resonant frequency is 79 kilohertz on this coil. That's with streamer. And uh, of course it's made out of uh, 3 8 inch copper tubing. Moving up, the secondary coil. Uh, it's about a little over a thousand turns of uh, 22 gauge wire. Then we get to the toroid on top. This is a 30 by 8 toroid, spun aluminum. Very nice, very smooth, so you don't get any. Uh, point discharges. 
Uh, just not sure if there's really much to see up under there. So, that's an overview of the, the rotary spark gap coil. I'll back up here, maybe see if you can see it all. It's kind of spread out in the yard, but here you can see to the left, of course, the coil itself. To the right, the pole transformer. And in the center there, just inside the shop door, you can see the control cabinet. So, that'll be the end of this video. Like I said, if you want more detail on the control cabinet, I have another video on it. Bye.